Okay, so as you can see, I am an HVAC tech. There's the Navac. That's super nice to have because you can put all your dirty, nasty oil in it. Right there is my pump. But I thought I already made a video about this. And I just went through all of them. It turns out I have never. I don't have a video about my true blue hoses, or at least I don't, I can't find it. I went back like two years. I might have skipped over it. I don't know. This is the biggest game changer when it comes to HVAC. Um, so this is how it comes if you get the two hose kit you get the nice hard case with a little vent and everything this is weatherproof these are like the same cases we used in the military and it comes with this nice cutout and everything there is stuff in this kit that you won't get with just the tote with just the two hose kit so I would suggest getting the three hose kit and making sure you have some of these 90s because I there were times I couldn't hook these hoses up because I didn't have the 90s. So it is worth getting the 90s. Um, I prefer the Appion valve core removal tools over like the other ones. They're they're the same size. Um, but it is nice to have these because they do come off at an angle, so every once in a while I get in a jam, I can grab this and use it, but I've never had an Appion fail. I've had the gasket in there come off and fall out. These, uh, these ones that come with the kit by AccuTool, brand new, only used it a couple times, leaks right out here. So, not a big fan. Uh, and it's my 5 sixteenths one too. <laughs> so it came with the two quarter inch, or one quarter inch. No, it came with two quarter inches and I bought this one. And the one that I paid for is like the one that leaks, which really pissed me off. So, anyways. Um, these three quarter inch hoses stupid ridiculous fast uh i got my company to approve the set of hoses and i was going to be their guinea pig and do the trial with them per se right six months later with my conclusion they're worth every penny now i've had these for about a year and every tech in my company now has them like roughly $650 a kit with the so I got the two hose kit and then I got the meter long hose to make it a three hose kit because you can't at the time I don't know if you can now but at the time they were all three the same length and sometimes you need one hose that's just a little bit longer than the rest and for you uh car enthusiasts out there this is real similar to what you'd think of as like a V-band clamp. So, uh, this has, oh, let me pop that off. Yeah, see, so this is just like a flat surface. And then your hose has like an O-ring that seals inside on this flange, which then in turn goes into this V-band clamp, right? So, Never had the hoses leak. These are, to my knowledge, the only set of hoses on the market, at least in the United States, that are true vacuum hoses. Uh, the Appions are actually pressure hoses that have been repurposed, like those yellow hoses on the wall. Um, they're half inch too, and I mean, they're real comparable in price. Like, why not get 
the Bugatti of vacuum hoses, right? Like, just do it, dude. You need it. You'll love it. <clears throat> um, had a bunch of old timers with me. Proved them all wrong. They're all big users of the kits now. Uh, just the pull down time is insane. Never have I ever reached nine microns on a system. I have now with the True Blues. I mean, it's guaranteed like I can set up walk away do my job for the rest of the day run some wiring controls whatever come back and the units always blow 100 microns which is just insane big chillers and stuff like that that normally I'd leave my pump for three four days on three four hours and there isn't one compressor job that has taken me more than a day I don't care the size of the unit I've been able to pump all of them down within a few hours and holding with a decay rate of two or three microns at the most 99% of the time like it's a zero decay rate it's like I've never been blown away like this in my entire HVAC career um, what else so yeah I just I've got one hose that's set up for three eighths on the end, and I've got another hose that has the half inch end, which is that one right there. So I've got one, the short hose with the half inch end and a 90 on it, and then I've got this longer hose with the three eighths end and a 90 on this. Because, yeah, once you get the 90s, you, you'll, you won't not use them. Like, you, it's just... They're so convenient, you can get in tighter places and everything like that. Um, I just, I can't say enough awesome things about it. But if you do get the kit, make sure to go ahead and order yourself a hose uh, rebuild. So you got your all your gaskets and stuff. Um, that's the Appian one that's actually out because I keep losing them. But yeah, make sure you get all your gaskets because nobody else makes them. So always got to have the extra ones. And they do make... They do make different ones of these, so... Be careful and make sure which ones you get. Um, I'm pretty sure if you buy them from today on, you'll always end up with the high flow hoses. So when you go to get your gasket kit, there's two different kits. This is the high flow hose kit gasket part number. Um, if you got any questions, you guys can always call True Tech Tools and they'll get you squared away. Those guys are pretty awesome. Uh, I just hate freaking shipping that's all um yeah dude just awesome like big huge vrf system you know a couple hundred pounds would with failed coil 52 welds had to replace the condenser coil on it i had that system pulled down in like three and a half hours and we have done compressor changes and everything else on that system. We always leave, we had always left the JB200 on it, which is like a 7 CFM pump. Those exact quarter inch hoses right there. And it would take three days for that same system to pump down. Now with these hoses and a 6 CFM pump, Boom, three oil changes and I was down in like three and a half hours instead of three days. So like if you want to quit sitting on the roof and you want to knock more jobs out and make more money, this will be the biggest game changer to you. It'll make people will start questioning whether or not you're actually pulling a vacuum on equipment anymore because these things suck so hard and fast that people cannot believe. That you actually pulled a vacuum. That's why I got the the field piece uh, micron gauge because I can run it in the app and I can data log everything. And so now there's a hundred percent proof 
of what I've pulled the unit down to. I've got the scales. I've got everything so they can see everything, how much refrigerant I added to the system, to the, the microns that I pulled it down to, to the decay rate, how long it took me to pull it. Like, customer gets all that. The company gets a copy of that. Like, hands down, best thing I've ever done was get these hoses. Second was getting the wireless uh, field piece stuff. Like, everything field piece wireless, just right into the app. I mean, it doesn't have to be field piece. You can do AccuTool or whatever. As long as it all goes onto the app and you can just data log all of it and document what you're doing, dude. Because people will not believe that you're actually getting to 500 microns. Because now you're doing it in a couple hours instead of a couple days. Freaking mini splits. Like, literally, 50 foot line set on a mini split. Five minutes, and I'm at like 200 and something microns holding. Um, residential system, split residential, uh, 50, 60 foot line set, 10 minutes tops. And we're down to like 200, 150, 200 microns. Um, you know, big chillers, big VRF, whatever thousands you know hundreds not thousands but hundreds of feet of pipe you know branch boxes all open i'm not valving the system off or nothing just full evacuation of the entire system and we're talking a couple hours it's just mind-blowing so you want to be a good tech and you want to blow people away this is what you got to get